Hi guys, it's Alicia here um, from Mystical Moonflower, and today I wanted to share a new oracle deck um, that I picked up uh, a few weeks ago. I got this off of Etsy. Here is the box that it came in. It is from Alchemy Farm um, Studios, and I will leave their um, information uh, linked down below to their Etsy shop. But I've been working with this deck. It is a botanical deck, and I do really enjoy it. And if you guys hear, I'm outside because we're having some nice weather, and I'm trying to take advantage of that while I can. But this is how it comes, this beautiful little golden bag. These cards are not um, in order anymore because, like I said, I've been, I've been working with them. But here's the box. Um, there is the person that created the deck. And then here is the guidebook. And here is the, the back. You guys want to pause and read about it? And I think I for, forgot to show you the back of the box. But that is about the deck and about the person who created it. Let me show you the back of this box. It's probably the same, but you know, here's the back of the box. So, um, I have several botanical decks, but this one... I, I really got because I wanted to use it for my full moon deck. I'm changing some of my things up right now. But here is the table of contents. I cannot see my screen, so I'm hoping you guys can see that. And then it tells you the common and Latin names of the, the flowers. And it just goes through and gives you a rundown of each of each flower and its uses. And this guidebook is around 112 pages or so. So that's that. Now let's get into the cards. Alright, so here's the backs. It's a nice card stock. It is a little glossy. Then we have the gold edging. And then this is what the cards would look like. So we're just going to do a quick flip through. And like I said, these are not in order because I've been, been working with them. Alright, I hope you guys can see this because I can't see it <laughs> at all. But we're just going to go through this. So we have Mallow, Heaven on Earth. Then we have Calendula, Serenity. The artwork, I just think, is beautiful. And you can kind of, um, some of these have little hidden um, images in there, like right there. Calla Lily. Nation. I'm really having trouble seeing this through the viewfinder. So I'm just going to kind of be quiet because I really can't see these at all. I didn't say in the beginning, I think these are all flowers that she grows on her farm, but um, I can't really remember. But it is 
is just a gorgeous deck. I'm going to do this inside. The wind keeps rolling the cards. We'll see. I've been looking at this deck for a while on Etsy, and I finally just decided to treat myself and get it. And I'm glad that I did. Beautiful snowdrops. last card. Alright, let's give these guys a shuffle and see what card comes out for the day. Here is what the book has to say. So it says, um, Lily means fertility. It says, cast your ideas as seeds to the universe and watch them grow and gain strength. The channeled message is floating in a clear bubble of protection, floating to the gardens, light breeze wafting over to the lilies, drifting amongst the tall stems. The journey through the stems changes. Going through a tunnel of crystals, smoky crystal walls, I see light on the horizon. I am suddenly full of blinding sunlight. I'm so bright, I, it's so bright I can't see it. I'm shielding my eyes from the intensity. A figure is standing in front of me, cloaked in dark green robes of thick lily leaves. The figure turns. The head of the lily, the lily balloon opens, and I can see eyes watching me from within the heart of the flower. Welcome, Earth Being. She makes her way to me, floating. Her outstretched hands holds lily seeds. I watch them drop to the ground and take root, growing magically to my height in seconds. The guidance says, cast your ideas as seeds to the universe and watch them grow and gain strength. Name, origins, and traditional meanings says from the Greek word, Lirion, one of the first words for flower. Traditional meanings include motherhood, fertility, renewal, and rebirth. Traditional uses. 
Traditionally made into an ointment for burns, burns, scalds, or bruises, lilies have been used as ornamentals, medicines, food plants for thousands of years. Lily oils can be used as a healing tool, especially for sensitive skin. It can also be used for massage in a bath and as a facial moisturizer. And that is it. That is everything I just read you guys. If that isn't the viewfinder, I hope because I can absolutely not see anything. Here is the other. And hopefully that's all in there. But uh, this is it, guys. The uh, Alchemy Flower Oracle. Um, it's called Message from Flowers. It's their second edition. And like I said, I will leave... Um, all the, the everything about um, this deck in the description so if you guys want to go um, check it out you can do so so until the next time thanks so much for watching guys stay safe and live well bye guys